I am Florence Pugh and I play Alison in A Good Person. My initial thoughts after reading the script was I was so impressed with the world that uh, Zach had created. I knew the world that he'd created because we'd spent so many weeks and months talking about it and dissecting characters and discussing character arcs. So I felt like I already knew all of these characters, but I, I hadn't read their dialogue before. Um, I'm, I was very excited to, to speak Zach's dialogue because I think he's truly, truly fantastic at dialogue. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just, I couldn't believe that we were creating this world and it was all coming together. The important themes in A Good Person, uh, it, it's a film that deals with grief intense grief, it deals with guilt, it deals with addiction, um, of opiates, of alcoholism. Um, it is, uh, I feel like it's a love letter to all of those com combined and it is a movie that allows the audience to go on this journey with them and hopefully be affected in it in all the right ways and I, and I hope we did it justice. Alison is someone who is running so far away from her own truth. She is someone that would much rather try and fix someone else and try and uh, help someone else and actually look at what it is that's going wrong inside her head and what it is that she actually feels about herself. Uh, she is witty, she is funny. Um, she is kind of at a point in her life where she doesn't care anymore, which is sometimes hilarious to see and, and watch play out, but also deeply, deeply saddening um, that she can't quite help herself up, which is why it's so important that her relationship with uh, Morgan Freeman's character, Daniel, is, is so wonderful and so bizarre, but it works. Daniel and Alison's dynamic is odd. It's unexpected. It's not a relationship that, you, that you'd expect to happen, especially coming from uh, the storyline and the accident that has happened. But it's necessary and it's needed, and they know what the other person needs. And because he is someone that has dealt with a lot of the, the feelings and, and the thoughts that she is going through, um, it's very fair to say that it's a relationship that we appreciate very quickly and keeps her from, from falling to a new low. It was epic working with Morgan Freeman. He's someone that we all know so well. We know his face, his voice, his characteristics, but to actually be acting opposite him, him feeding me lines and, and me feeding them back was just unbelievable. And I really, you know, when you get to work with legends, you they bring you up to their level. They, they want you to be a part of it. So that truly was a fantastic moment in my life and career to get to work with him. Working with Zach um, was a joy, and I think everybody would express that about uh, what he what he built and the environment that he made on set. He's a, an incredibly collaborative director. He's very giving, very sharing, very caring, and someone that you instantly feel that like you can trust, which is crucial for a storyline like this. What the actors have to do when they come into work every day is completely lay their heart and, and, and bear their soul on the line every single time they open their mouths. Every character in this movie has been affected by the, uh, the accident that happens at the beginning of it. And so you really do need to trust your leader and you need to feel held and safe and you need to feel like you can make as many mistakes as possible and with Zach that was um, something that he insisted on day one and I think that's probably why everybody was so excited to come to work every day. Alison's relationship with her mum is erratic, it's hot, it's uh, scary, it's emotional, it's real, it's very much like a teenage girl and a mother shouting at each other uh, at the end of a day. Um, it's honest, it's something that I think lots of mothers and lots of daughters will recognize. Um, it's scary because it's, they, are, they, they only have each other. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed working with Molly Shannon. She plays my mum and um, we had an amazing time working together. Just finding the intricacies of, of how this family stuck together and how odd they both are and how their oddities actually make them so lovable. Um, it, was, it, it was a dream come true working with her and to watch her work, you know, I got, I got to watch her the great Molly Shannon run her lines and run her comedic beats. It was unbelievable. I really hope that um, 
and not in a cliche way, but I really hope that it affects people because we made a very, very sensitive, uh, beautiful, and very, I think, dangerous storyline that is about something that um, is dangerous and affects all these people in the worst way and the best way. And I, I just really hope that, um, I really hope that people come away thinking about it and thinking about certain scenes because that's that's the best when people come away and they have a scene in their head and they don't know why it's in their head but they discuss it and for me that's been one of the biggest joys about this movie is when my friends or my family have come to watch it they want to talk about a certain scene and they don't know why but it'll probably be because they recognize the dynamic between them and their dad or them and their sibling or um, them and their granddad and it's uh, I think it's a movie that a lot of people can can get a lot out of.